Now, perhaps we'd want to, in some cases, nest some patterns. Let's see what happens. We're still searching for the second sub pattern. Let's see which one it picks up. It's XES. So, in the case of nested sub patterns, it's essentially simply a matter of reading from left to right. The first bracket that it comes across will be the marker for the first pattern, the next one, and so on, whether or not they're nested. So let's take out some of these extraneous brackets here, because we're not really using them for anything. And we're going to use our sub patterns in a slightly different way. We're going to first of all capture just that first letter as a sub pattern. So this sub pattern is only going to contain one atom within our pattern. Let's just show what it produces before we go on to use it a B. Now, what we can do is instead of matching the literal B on this side, we can tell Perl that we only want to match the entire pattern if whatever we have within this sub pattern here matches what we find in this character on this side. Let's go back to our command prompt and see what happens. We're still getting a B. So that means the pattern was successfully matched. If we move back to our text editor here and change either of these foxes and bins. So now what we're matching in our sub pattern is an F. But because we've used this variable here, the entire pattern will fail to match because we're either looking for boxes and bins or any two alliterative words, that is, words that begin with the same initial letter. So when we go back to our command prompt, we can try to run the script, but we get no pattern matching whatsoever. We can simply change to foxes and fins, and then our script would run fine, and we'd be shown the sub-pattern that was found. So this is a way not only of specifying a general range for the characters that we're looking for within a pattern, but actually allowing our pattern to modify itself on the fly. So based on certain things that we find within the pattern, we can then go on to specify what we should find elsewhere in the pattern.